Hey, what is up everybody? My name is Star Lords. I hope that you're having a fantastic day and in today's video I'm actually going to be showing you a brand new feature that is coming to Fortnite Battle Royale sometime very soon regarding vending machines. Uh, but before we actually get into the video guys, I would like to give a huge thank you to today's video sponsor which is Swagbucks. If you guys don't know what that is, Swagbucks is basically a free and easy way on how to earn like V-Bucks, cash, gift cards such as Xbox Live, PSN or Apple gift cards and everything like that. All you have to basically do is fill out quick surveys, watch ads or even play games in return for earning swag bucks which can then actually be exchanged into V-Bucks and the other kind of gift cards or whatever basically you like. If you are interested in that guys, go into the description of today's video, you will see a link at the top, click it and you will get a free $5 sign up bonus which will give you a huge boost on getting some free V-Bucks or even some Xbox Live PSN gift cards. So once again, thank you very much for our sponsor, Swagbucks, and let's get straight into today's video. So, like I said, yes, vending machines are actually coming to Fortnite Battle Royale, and this is going to change the way you play this game completely. I mean, we don't know too much information about it, other than it was a leaked feature that was featured in a glitch. So basically someone was on their Xbox Live console, the gameplay is actually probably in the background right now, and as he was jumping out of the actual, uh, I guess the, the battle bus itself, he kind of glitched and lagged out of the game, which made him fall directly down through the actual earth itself. And when he did that, he was actually surprised to see that there was a vending machine right there and then in front of him. And this vending machine kind of looked really interesting. I mean, it was just a normal vending machine, but on the actual screen of it, it had some wood that said 250, and the weapon that was actually shown was a minigun. And yeah, this is kind of crazy, to be honest. I don't know whether this is going to be a new game mode that they're going to be testing out or something like that. But it does seem that when you actually have 250 wood, you will then be able to trade the wood for weapons. And this got me thinking like, wow, this is insane. Like, is this going to be a new kind of feature or is this just going to be some kind of game type thing? Because if you kind of look at the side of the actual vending machine itself, you can see that there is a shopping trolley with some flames on the back of it. And... You guys know what everybody has been rumoring for a while now about the shopping trolleys, you know, the shopping trolleys are meant to be drivable in a future update. And I was thinking, well, what if they've been testing out the driving shopping trolley kind of thing, and you can attach weapons to your shopping trolleys? I know it sounds really stupid, but bear with me, Fortnite has some really crazy updates. I mean, come on, guys, they really do. So what if, like, you know, this minigun was kind of one of those things that you could attach to your shopping trolley so that you could kill other players when you're racing with them? I don't know. I thought that would be a really interesting concept kind of design, really, because it kind of brings it back to, like, I don't know if you guys have ever played a game called Cell Damage, but Cell Damage was a really popular kind of fun racing game where you can attach weapons onto your cars and kill other players with it and I don't know I thought that'd be pretty interesting to be honest having a little shopping trolley maybe having an axe to swing at people having a minigun on the top or something I don't know but other than that if it's not for that game type it looks like this is going to be a brand new feature coming to Fortnite Battle Royale where if you do not have a weapon that you want and you happen to find one of these vending machines they're not Probably not going to be that common, to be honest. But if you do find a vending machine, you can actually transfer your wood, your metal, or your brick into it to gain something in return. Now, what we will gain in return is still unknown, but it did seem that there is going to be common weapons, and maybe there might even be rare and legendary weapons, depending on the actual machines you find around the map. For example, you know, this machine only asked for 250 wood. I mean, that's very simple to get. I think anyone can get 250 wood, right? But in return, they actually, uh, like, they, they give you a, a, a minigun. And miniguns are a, let's see, they are an epic and a legendary kind of spawn. I mean, you can't get a rare minigun. It's only legendary and epics. So, wow. If it's only 250 wood to get a legendary or epic minigun, how much is it going to be to get a scar? You know what I'm saying, guys? I mean, these may actually be very rare to find, and they may only dispense weapons that are legendary or rare, or rare, or wait, legend legendary or epic. So, again, 
very interesting and it's kind of good to speculate about these kind of things like would you like this actually added into the game because what if somebody just comes across a vending machine that is dispensing a scar for 500 wood for example i mean would you find that kind of fair or i don't know what what would you actually guys say about this personally for me i'm thinking it is good but maybe not with some really overpowered weapons like i would say do not let scars be added to it and if scars are added to it make it very 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 rare to actually gain a scar from the vending machine itself so like I said, the gameplay in the background is of the dude falling from the sky and actually coming into contact with this vending machine. And normally what would happen is that if something gets leaked from Fortnite Battle Royale, it basically means that it's very, very close to being implemented into the game. For example, you know, when we actually first saw that jetpacks were coming to the game, it was leaked very early on and Epic Games were meant to release the jetpacks one week after people found out that they were coming to the game itself. But unfortunately, due to some kind of bugs and everything, they had to leave the update. They just kind of pushed it away a little bit. So yeah, this being found in the actual game itself right now means that this update will possibly be seen in the next week or two. Uh, genuinely, that is literally it. A week or two and we can see these vending machines in the game itself. So, I don't know. I, it's very interesting to be honest, guys. I really want to know some very... I want to know more information from Epic Games themselves and honestly, I will update you guys the minute that I hear anything about this vending machine because it is definitely something to be kind of looking at and also, you know, the shopping cart on the side with the fire coming off it like it's going really fast. That too is another kind of thing to imp like to put into the game. Like it's, it's another thing to consider. Like, is this weapon going to be an attachable thing to you know the actual gun, like the shopping trolley itself? I don't know. It's it's like I said, it's interesting, guys. And the minute I find out any other news about this, I will definitely tell you guys about it as soon as possible. Other than that, though, we actually do have some more information regarding some huge things that are happening to Fortnite Battle Royale sometime very soon in the future. And these are things like Tilted Towers being removed from the game. Yes, I know it sounds stupid, but Epic Games really don't like Tilted Towers. They think that it's kind of messed up the way the game is because most people are dropping out Tilted Towers. Five minutes into the game, there's only like 40 people left and they're really not liking this kind of how how tilted has changed this game and lately some stuff has been shown up around the map to kind of i guess kind of say tilted towers may no longer be in the game so yeah if you definitely want to hear about that guys make sure to check out tomorrow's video as i will have a full rundown on tilted towers being completely removed from fortnite battle royale i know it sounds crazy but yes it may actually be happening other than that, guys, I did say uh, yesterday that I was going to pick a winner for the uh, Elite Agent giveaway, and I forgot to today, so what I'm going to do really quickly, while I've actually got you in the videos, is really quickly announce a winner from yesterday's video, and also announce today what you have to do to win the new skin. Uh, so... What I'm gonna have to do really quickly, guys, is go through a couple of comments using my third party kind of thing. And uh, yeah, I've just. Let's see. Uh, wait there a second. No, that guy never commented it. So basically, yesterday's word was Easter eggs. That's what you had to comment to get to be in a chance to win the free giveaway for the skin, which is only $5. And uh, yeah, the person who commented it was Zaid. Zaid Ote. Zaid Ote, if you're watching today's video, dude, go and check out your YouTube inboxes that means your private messages on youtube you have just won the fortnite uh, i guess it's uh, what, what what's the dude's name again the rogue agent skin uh, so please reply to that so i know that you're actually like you know you actually want the skin and everything dude and i will give you the information about what console you're on all that kind of stuff and how exactly i'm going to get the money over to you so that you can buy that character other than that guys if you are wanting to get a free rogue agent skin they're only four dollars so i decided to do a couple of giveaways uh, basically what you have to do right now in the comment section below is comment down, let's see, um, barbecue sauce, BBQ sauce. That is literally all you have to comment down to in the comment section below right now, guys, uh, for your chance to actually win one of those. Also, I would appreciate if you could comment what console you play Fortnite on, as that is kind of an important factor to me giving you the money 
or, you know, the Xbox Live or PSN gift cards. Um, other than that, guys, I do have an exclusive Twitter giveaway going on right now. So if you do want to have a chance to win another one of those, go over to my Twitter account. It will be in the description of today's video. Go and check it out. And, uh, yeah, the best of luck to all of you guys. Thank you very much for watching today's video. I hope that you enjoyed the gameplay in the background. And, uh, yeah, until next time, I've been Star Lord. Oh, see ya.